Fucking hello, uh, it's Chopper here. Uh, welcome back to Things That Can Get Fucked. Uh, this week, sitting next to people who fucking don't sit still, right? I hate it when you're on a bus or a train or at the movies or something and the person next to you won't stop fucking fidgeting and moving. Uh, the only excuse for carrying on like that is if you're being electrocuted. And even then, fuck, keep it to yourself. Obviously there are some legitimate medical conditions that could cause this, but let's be honest, usually it's some yuppie fuck on their third cup of coffee. Once, I went to catch a plane, and at the gate before we got on, I saw someone drink half a litre of energy drink, and I thought, <laughs> some poor fucker has to sit next to that. Uh, turns out it was me. I was that poor fucker, right? Uh, they were flapping around like a giant salmon. I'm just trying to watch some shit on an iPad, right? And they're bloody bumping me and fucking knocking and rubbing and fucking up and down and popping and locking and fucking touching everything. It was like being trapped in a phone box with a panicking fucking seagull. I mean, how much energy do you need to sit in a fucking seat for a few hours? Uh, you don't have ants in your pants, you've got fucking dicks in your brain. Uh, that would be like Anne Frank hearing Germans downstairs, right? And then Peter deciding to have a quick hit of meth. Just sit still and shut the fuck up, Peter, you stupid fucking piece of shit. People think terrorists are a threat to flying, uh, but I reckon airport screening should be looking for twitchy fuckers instead. If you see some dumb motherfucker sucking down a giant mother, uh, then put them on the fucking no-fly list. Sitting still is not hard for most adults, right? Which is why finding yourself sitting next to someone who can't sit still can fuck off, get fucked, and then fuck off a little bit more. Yeah.